talk about you say, yeah, I'll take them. SB 104A sitting amongst the swans. Definitely need a little bit of work. But uh, it's working. And it's clean. One little tiny scuff right here. I forgot to put the ring on this. Uh, <laughs> I didn't feel like unsoldering it all. I did put a, uh, a four pin in there, which was a real pain in the ass. Not much room. I wanted to put a quarter inch, but the hole's really big on the Heath kits. So uh, I decided just to go with the four pin. A lot of people do do that. Um, it's got a little bend in it. I never bend it back. Just left it as is. I mean, I'm an operator, not a collector here. <laughs> so we got a stack. But, uh, and it's doing 100 watts for the most part. 10 meters, a little bit less, of course. Pretty loud out here today. Let's go to 14. See if I pick up anybody on here. VFO was doing some real funky stuff. Oh, wow. Jeez, where's everybody? Uh, I didn't have the proper voltage, so I had to reset that. Pull every card multiple times, clean corrosion. But it seems to be doing pretty well. It's, it's All these push switches are horrible. They're sealed. Uh, I sprayed the crap out of them, hopefully trying to get something in there to clean them. For the most part, they're working. Vox seems to be backwards. <laughs> push in, Vox is on. I mean, push off, out, Vox is on. Push in, Vox is off, so... Everything else seems the same, so I don't know if they, whoever built this, I think, wired it backwards. But man, oh man, I'm not getting anybody here. And it's touchy, you know, it's typical of 1975 digital display. Slow scan right at 2.30. It's where it should be. Well, the way the band sounds, I don't think I can get anybody here on the higher bands today. But I just wanted to give you a little demo on this uh, recent... Uh, and this is the synthesizer. Listen. You'll come, I come across that every once in a while. I heard somebody. Nope. Nada. Um, WWV. It'll be right on the mark. If I can get there here, let's see. Be a little off because I'm on upper side band here. If you go this way, you gotta go the other way. CW. Anyway, you guys get the get the gist see if we get anything here FT8 hey maybe I should put this on FT8 that'll be fantastic <laughs> I 
hear no blips or boops. Heard North Carolina beacon yesterday. Not a. It is. There that is again. Not a. So let's go back to. Uh, Those guys are gone. 72.04. Should be a net. So there's your uh, SB104A. What's the difference between the 104 and the 104A? It's kind of an update they did uh, they did a lot of modifications to it you can actually pretty much turn a 104 into an a with all the modifications uh, but uh, yeah that's too too long to get into So that's it. That's your SB104A. I used to have the whole station. There's a lot of accessories that go along with it. So I think I will be probably putting this at my other station uh, back east. And I can get the whole layout. And it would take the whole thing up here. Minus the SB230 amplifier, which on Untanium, well, it's not on Untanium final, but... Uh, it's a very expensive 8873 final, super expensive. Nice 500 watt amp, very quiet, but uh, that would match this. I used to have an SB220 with this. Matches too, it's green. Uh, however, there's a console, there's 614 um, uh, scope, there is a VFO, um, there's a bunch of other things, there's a keyer. There's you can you can it looks really nice when it's set up. It's a nice uh, a nice little vintage station for sure. So again, SB 104A uh, flea market find, I guess swap find I should say uh, was working. 100 watts when I purchased it. That's what I was told, but uh, yeah, it uh, it wasn't. It was a mess. Got about six hours into it now, and I think we're at the point where it's just uh, use it and uh, exercise it, and I think uh, for the most part, it's okay. Um, see what happens, but uh, it's operational on all bands. Take it easy, guys. See you next time. Like, share, subscribe.